Hi everybody, it's Dana. Happy New Year. Um, right off the bat, I have to say, I am so, so sorry for my disappearance <laughs> on YouTube. Um, last video I did was right before Thanksgiving, and um, I had gone over to my sister's a couple days before Thanksgiving to help her cook and prepare for Thanksgiving and so and then I ended up there for a week after which was totally a spontaneous thing and then I um <clears throat> so I stayed there for a week after Thanksgiving and then my daughter my middle daughter went in the hospital um, and so we were dealing with that for a couple weeks and then Christmas and making Christmas gifts and you know all that goes around Christmas and I had just been I also on top of all of that I had um, a cancer scare um, I thought that my cancer had returned I found a new lump in my chest and um, so I had appointments and testing and you know all that stuff um, to determine that um, I my cancer is not back thank the Lord I'm just praising him for that and um, that I have developed quite a bit of scar tissue um, from my mastectomy and so it has kind of bunched up in one place and um, almost just feels like a tumor and so it was very scary but I'm very thankful and grateful that Oh, my cancer has not returned. So I was dealing with that on top of everything. And so um, so it's been a wild, wild ride for the last about six weeks or so. So, um, but here I am, I'm back. Um, I do have to say that I still have Christmas stuff off to the left of me because I never did finish the second journal that we were working on this one. Um, I still, it's sitting in the stage that it was right around Thanksgiving. So I need to finish that. I probably won't put it up on my Etsy until next Christmas. I've got two Christmas journals that I did this year. Um, and I just don't, um, I doubt that if I put them up in my Etsy now, I doubt that they would sell just cause it's January. So they won't be going up in my Etsy until um, next Christmas but if you are interested in either of the Christmas journals um, this one is done and I'm still working on the other one um, my email is um, always in the description box um, if you're interested in purchasing them either one of them from me before next Christmas just email me and um, we can work that out so I wanted to show you this before we get started on today's project um, I picked this up at Hobby Lobby the other day when they had all the paper studio stuff half off. Is this not gorgeous? Look at this paper. I was like, if there was ever a paper pad that was created just to make ephemera, oh my gosh, this is what this one will be. I'm just gonna make ephemera out of this because they're so neutral. They're so beautiful. They're going to go with pretty much any journal that I decide to make. And I just thought, oh, wow, that's just perfect. So wanted to show you that. <laughs> so, okay, so the project we're going to make today is inspired by a gift that I received um, several, several years ago. And the story behind needing to make these is my church... Um, is doing a women's event and um, this is just a 9 by 12 envelope we're going to turn it into a little journal um, so they're doing a women's event and we haven't had one in years just because of COVID and stuff and um, when we did women's events prior to COVID um, I always would make little Note, I'd cover little notebooks or whatever just as kind of giveaways to the ladies that came and I always tried to make them like notebooks so in case somebody wanted to take notes while they were there with whatever we were doing at that event whether it be a speaker or whatever um, and they didn't have paper with them they'd have a cute little notebook to use so that's what I'm gonna do and I was contacted by the lady doing the women's event and asked if I would create notebooks and so they need 25 of them and Lord knows I've got enough stuff on hand that I could do probably a thousand. <laughs> so 
Um, I was gifted a little notebook made out of, um, a little journal made out of a nine by 12 envelope um, several, several years ago. And I thought I have a whole box of these. And so I definitely have enough to do 25. And if you hear that, I'm, I'm just, just a second. Let me, I'm gonna close my laundry room door cause I've got the washer going and it's making noise. Okay, that's better. Okay, so the only thing we have to do to prep this is just fold it in half. So that's what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna fold this in half, crease it down really good. And what we're gonna do is stitch in some just copy paper right here. And we're gonna cover this with pretty paper and we'll leave this open as a pocket and this will all become our closure right here, just like that, okay? So um, very, very simple. So what I've done is I've gone through my paper pads, which I have a ton of, and pulled a couple that I've had for a really long time and um, that I have not used. So this is one called Hello Gorgeous. I don't even know. By my mind's eye, it's back from 2018 and it's got some really pretty papers, so I thought we could use this. So let's choose a floral. I saw this one, it's really pretty. We'll choose this kind of for the front, and the inside, let's do a more muted. This is pretty, let's use this. That'd make another great cover, but I mean, 25, that's gonna use up this entire paper pad plus probably another paper pad, which like I said, I have plenty of. So what I wanna do is measure, uh, this should be six and it is. So I'm gonna cut, what I'm gonna do is cut the front cover so that you still see some of the white edge like that because I like that look. Okay, so we're gonna go five and three quarters by, should be nine. Let me just double check. That's a little less than nine. So we're gonna go five and three quarters by eight and three quarters. Is this directional? Not really. So I'm gonna take eight and three quarters for the height. Cut that down. We're gonna use this, so we'll keep that aside. And then we're gonna go five and three quarters. And then five and three quarters. Okay, and these are just gonna glue down just like this on the front and the back cover. So let's do that. I'm just gonna use art glitter glue. You could use, um, there's several things you could use. You could use sticky tape, you could use Fabri-Tac, you could use ATG, your, even your ATG gun if you have that. Um, any of those adhesives will work. Um, I just like to use my art glitter glue because number one, it holds really well and it dries really fast. And for me, it's a lot faster just to use wet glue. Okay, so I'm gonna just center this to where I've got my little white edge. Okay. Just like that. These are so quick and easy to make. Okay, let's glue the back on. So I hope y'all had a great Christmas and a very happy new year. I did. Um, it was a really great Christmas. I had all my kids here 
and um, my sister and her family were here. And it was just a lot, it's always a lot of fun to have everybody together. Okay, let's glue this on. Just kind of centering it here. Right, that looks very pretty. Okay, so there we have our front. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, I'm trying to decide if I wanna do the flap in the same paper or contrast. I'm not sure what I wanna do with that yet, so I'm gonna leave it. So the inside, what we're going to do is, I'm trying to decide if I wanna go the full length with this. So that we have a more strengthened spine. But it's only gonna be like 10 pages of paper. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark this really quick. Let me close my glue take my pencil because this kind of this end kind of bows in a little bit so what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna cut it where it's straight and even with this edge right here and then I'm not gonna put glue I'm just gonna put glue on this edge here so this paper will just kind of hang over a little bit so I want to go right to that edge right there without really obstructing this fold. Okay, so I'm gonna go about it right there. So I wanna cut right about here. And then, you know, Right about there, and then height-wise, I'm gonna go right, sorry guys, about here. All right, we'll see if that works out. What corner did I make my marks on? Oh, for heaven's sakes. Now I can't even find my marks. Okay, here's one mark. <laughs> there. Take that little bitty piece off. And then let me find my other mark. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Oh my gosh. Can you believe this? Okay, I'm gonna have to measure it again, I guess. I think I cut my mark off. Oh my word. Jeez, can you tell it's been a while since I've done a video? Good grief. Okay, so that was that. So this was the height that I had marked. Yeah, and I think I cut it off. <laughs> so let me just straighten this up a little and we'll just remark it right there nice and dark so I can see it. <laughs> okay, I'll just take this off, set that aside. Okay, so let's get to gluing this down here. And let's see. Oh, I know what I was gonna do. I was gonna cut five and three quarters. Sorry, a little unorganized there. So five and three quarters. And then we're gonna have to mark the other side because we've got the little fold here. So I'll just mark it. This will go right here, just like that. And so this one is gonna go like this. Let me just mark it where you need to cut it. Right about 
about there, just right where that pocket begins. So I'll just take a little sliver off. Right there. All right, now we can glue them down. Grab our glue. So yeah, my holidays were really good and I'm gonna, at the end here, I wanna show you what my mother made me. I could not believe it. I'm just trying to clean my glue my glue thing off. I'm gonna have to put this down. I've got shaky hands today. There we go. Ah, oh, goodness me. So I'm excited about the women's event at my church. It has been so long since we have had a women's event. And I'm super excited that someone decided they wanted to do that. Okay. All my friends will be there all in one place. Um, I'm, I'm just super excited about it. So this will be a fun project to do. I'm gonna line these up. just like this. And again, I'm gonna put glue right here on here, on the edge, just like that. And this is the edge that will go there. So I don't wanna get any glue kind of right on the edge here because I've got glue on the folder and I don't want to glue that pocket down. So if we need to add more glue once it's on, we can do that. But I want to keep clear of glue in that pocket. So I'm going to line this up with the bottom edge of this piece here. And I'm going right to the edge of that pocket right here. And I'm just going to lay this piece in there, just like that. Nice. All right, okay, so we're gonna have that. Okay, so that looks good so far. Okay. All right, so what I wanna do now is I wanna cover this here, and I think what I wanna do is I wanna use this, and is this gonna give me enough for the front? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take this off and I'm just gonna what I'm gonna do is add glue to the flap I'm avoiding the fold we don't want to glue into the score mark there and then I'm gonna put glue all over here it does have sticky back but I don't trust those I just got glue all over my table Okay, we'll wipe that up in just a minute. And what I'm gonna do is just to lay this in, just like this, avoiding the fold. Make it even. And I'm gonna trim it with my scissors. All right, grab the scissors. And I just think that's the easiest way to do this. I'm just gonna cut this straight up right here. And then I'm just gonna follow the line of the flap. And just trim this off. Easy peasy. 
So now we have that flap right there. We have our pocket. Could have gone all the way down inside the pocket. That would have been pretty too. Okay, now to decide, do I want the contrasting paper or do I want this? I think the contrasting paper. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Open this up. Grab my glue. Just gonna avoid the fold. And then go all around. All right. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll cut that off. So I think these are going to be really nice. And, you know, yeah, 25 is a lot to make, but they're pretty simple. And I can definitely assembly line them, you know? Um, and that's probably what I'll do. It's like I'll cover all the fronts of a bunch of them. And then I'll do the insides and I'll do them all at the same time. And I think that'll be the way to go with these. And I've got a couple weeks to work on it. Maybe not. I think I've got maybe a little over a week. It's on the 15th, so I don't have that much time, but it's enough time to get them done. Okay, so that's that. Oh, I think that's cute. I like the contrasting. Okay, so now what we're going to do for the signature that goes in each one is I'm just gonna use regular copy paper um, which I did bring over, here it is. And I thought that I would try 10 pieces and see how that looks. And if we need to cut that down and use less, we can. So let me just count out 10. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that, nine, ten. All right. And I'm just going to go ahead and fold these. Let me get this out of the way. I'm going to fold them one by one. Just so we get nice, crisp folds. And then we'll stack them together. It's kind of boring seeing me watch fold piece of paper in half, but it's all part of the process, guys. I think these are going to be really cute. Now, the closure that my friend did on mine, the one she gave me years ago, she used a Velcro dot, and I do have some of those um, from Dollar Tree, so I need to fish those up. I think that's the one thing I didn't get out. And I can't wait to watch this video back. I got a new, I noticed in some of my videos, I got glue all over my fingers here. Um, I noticed in some of my videos that when I did certain things, especially using like my glue book, when I'm gluing things on my glue book and using my glue stick and stuff, that my camera would shake. 
and um, I noticed that. And so the the little holder that I had for my um, cat uh, for my phone when I was doing videos, um, it had kind of like a springy arm on it. And I think that's what was causing that. And so what I did was I got a new one um, that doesn't have like a springy arm that's adjustable. It's um, got, it's metal and it's got joints. And, um, and so I'll be interested to um, watch this video back and see if my camera shakes at all. Okay, I'm just gonna put these on, you know, just putting them together like a signature. I don't know, people might might not like the fact that there's no lines on them, but I don't have um, a bunch of like lined paper that I can use to put these on. And I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to buy anything because the lady doing we're a very small church we don't have a very big budget and she would want to reimburse me for anything that I bought so I I was dead set on using stuff I had on hand and I've got a ton of copy paper on hand okay so this is 10 pieces so this is going to make 40 pages so that's kind of a nice size notebook that's going to go in just like that and is this going to close right? Yeah, it does. Okay, that's nice. Okay, great. So let's sew this in. Um, let me get a... Oh, I brought it out. I'm going to sew it in just like I do my journals. Oh, and that's actually would be a kind of a nice pink to use, too. Use that dark pink. I think we'll do that if there's enough of it. We'll see. And get my clips. I need a needle. Grab one of those. Okay. So I'm gonna just do this just like I do any of my journals. I'm gonna center my pages in. And squish it down into the spine and clip it. And then I do the opposite corner. Smush it down into that spine. Clip it. Do the same here. All right, and we're just gonna do a pamphlet stitch just like I do with my other journals, okay? So I'm just gonna go one hole in the middle, just eyeballing it. Just like that. Oh no, it marked my paper up. Oh no, okay, well, that's too bad. Okay, and then one, just that's maybe half an inch from the top. And I'll do the same here, and I'm just eyeballing it, no big deal. Okay. All right, let's thread the needle. I'll make sure we have enough of this one. Two, three, oh yeah, we got plenty. Okay. Come on, needle. All right. All right. We're gonna go through the middle, and through the bottom, 
Doesn't matter, you can use the bottom or the top. Come on, get through there. Okay. Back through the middle. And through the top here. Did I just do that wrong? I just did that wrong. Crud. <laughs> yeah, I gotta rethread my needle. <laughs> that's the part that stinks. Okay. It's been so long since I sewed in a signature. Okay, let's rethread the needle. in there. I'm gonna have to snip it. It's all worn from going in the being threaded through. Good heavens. Sorry, guys. Oh my gosh, it's messy, but it's done. There we go. Oh, good grief. Wow, you can tell I've been done a video for a while. Okay, we're going through the top. That's what we're doing. We're going all the way through. And then back down through the middle. Jeez. All right, making sure not to split our thread. All right. I want to be on either side of this thread, which I am. I'm going to kind of pull tight. And I am used way too much thread. I'm going to tie like three knots. And then we're just going to cut them. All right. Goodness. Bumbling idiot here. Okay, so that's our little, that's our little 40 page notebook. Really cute. Okay, let me put this stuff away. Get this out of our way here. Okay, let me see if I can find those Velcro dots. Give me just a second, because I think I know where they are. There's just a bunch of stuff in the way here. Okay, so these are just Velcro dots that I got from Dollar Tree, and I think those will work just fine. So I'm going to put that on top of there, peel this off. I'm gonna go try and center this. This glue is like super sticky, that's good. I'm gonna center this there. And then I'm just gonna close the book so that the other piece sticks to the other side. And there's our closure. That's super cute, right? Okay, and then I feel like I definitely need to embellish the front of it. Um, just, I mean, something I want it to be simple. Like I said, I've got 25 of these to make. So I do have, let me grab a little case here. I have a 
have this big case. And in here, ooh, I'm dropping stuff everywhere. Okay, so in this case, um, the storage box is, I've got Project Life cards, I've got cut aparts, I've got all kinds of stuff that, um, just like this, like these, um, like that might be pretty. Be joyful in hope, faithful in prayer. Um, this one's cute. Enjoy the little things and that matches really good. So let's use that one. So I will probably be using all these, you know, just cut aparts and things like that from, um, from this box to do the fronts of all of them. Because it doesn't need to be anything, you know, like I said, I've got a mass making them. So it's um, definitely going to be something that I don't want anything elaborate for uh, the covers. Okay, so let's see. I think I want to mat this. I think I'll just use that scrap and just put that behind it. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Okay. So I'm just gonna kind of put glue here where I was gonna put the other piece. And we'll get that glued on, oops. Like that. And then we'll just glue the whole piece down. Kind of center that. And there we go. Really cute, right? Using stuff, all that I had on hand. I'll bring this up where you can see it. So it just opens up like that. And we have our little notebook inside. Really cute. I like that. Okay. So um, that's the project for today. <laughs> 24 more to go. <laughs> so as always, you guys have a great day. God bless. It's great to be back with you, crafting with you, and um, have a wonderful day, guys. God bless. Bye-bye.